What's up guys? We're back at it again. Um, I got kind of tired of the flat black plasti dip and uh, I don't have the 300 extra bones to buy the carbon fiber lid for my bike. Um, so, and I, I'm probably going to end up doing a wrap at some point, but I was at O'Reilly's Auto Parts and uh, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but uh, I saw, <laughs> you guys are going to laugh. I saw this. <laughs> so I said, what the heck? It's 10 bucks. I'm going to do it. This look can be really cool. Yes. I always wanted to be cool. So we'll see. Here we go, guys. Here goes nothing. You know what? Sometimes you just got to live a little and, and get some glittery stellar blue color shift duplicolor custom wrap effects yes with easy pill technology someone once told me i have a voice for radio and a face for it too all right here we go Oh yeah, by the way, um, I kind of did a sort of janky job taping that off. I mean, it's close enough. It, it is just plastic dip, so I could peel off whatever um, happens to get there or cut it off or whatever. I, I'm not terribly worried about it because again, this is only temporary. Uh, I, I mean, it will be this way when I go to the tail of the dragon. So when I'm blazing through the turns, all the people say, oh my gosh, look at that dude from Texas with his color shift stellar blue custom wrap effects with easy peel technology plasti dip dupa color yes that'll be me that'll be me all right here we go oh wait gotta do the underside first i remember now don't be dumb all right because i gotta get these corners And you gotta do a light coat. First coat is pretty light. I kind of gooped it up there, but at least it's on the underside. And it's better to do multiple light coats with this stuff than it is to do, you know, one, one or two really thick coats. Um, I am kind of holding it closer because there is a little bit of a breeze out here and it is freaking muggy, man. It's probably 85 degrees Fahrenheit in 7,000% humidity because we've been getting a lot of rain here in North, North Texas. And um, it's, uh, yeah, man, it's muggy, no joke. All right, let's do second light coat on the bottom. All right, here goes uh, coat number three. All right, there's the color starting to show up. Might have helped to turn that fan off. <laughs> It's so flipping hot, I can't bear it. All right, so here we go with the first coat on the top side. And you can see maybe on the, that part of the, the tank cover, uh, air cleaner cover, um, you can see where my belt and things like that have been rubbing on it. So whenever I actually get the final product, I'll have to get one of those protector thingies, those cool stickers. I'm 
trying to get a little bit of overlap because the wind is blowing, man. And uh, I'm kind of wanting to go everywhere but on the cover. So hopefully you guys can start to see that coverage. It is changing colors. So we'll let, uh, we'll let that tack and then uh, come back and do the next one. All right, so next coat. I'm gonna go a little heavier this time because the direction said I could and that it would uh, kind of spot up. And um, that's normal, apparently. I, think, I seem to remember that from when I did the black plastic to depth. Definitely changing colors, it's kind of cool. Hopefully, you guys can see that. So, we'll let this tack up and do a third coat, and I think we'll be good. All right, let's do another coat. know the the paint and body guys are just like I think this is going to be the last coat. Here we go. Doesn't help that the tip kind of spatters a little bit. Um, it's clean, so I don't know. That's that's it. I can't say it's beautiful, but it's different. And sometimes it's okay to be different. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. <sighs> well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll grow on me. I really don't know. I don't know. Let me get the, I'm gonna let it continue to dry. It's been drying for about an hour. Um, I'm gonna let it keep going, dry further. I mean, you know, it is, it is a temporary paint job and um, it does peel off. So at least, at least there's that. I don't know. This, uh, I don't love it, that's for sure. I definitely don't love it. It's, uh, 
Gosh, I don't think so, man. What have I done? Oh my gosh. Oh, I mean, I could, but I don't know. <sighs> Dang it. Idiot. I couldn't stop myself. So, uh, that's still black down there. And, uh, I can tape that off. I'm out of Plasti Dip, whatever that brand of stuff is. But I can clean that up and tape off that section. That's all gloss black. The fender's finish definitely turned out better than the lid up here. This is both really cool and really sucks. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. Oh.